Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Tuesday and we're having a relatively chill day. We probably go out a bit later and do a bit of a drive around just so we don't get stale and go stir crazy. Our neighbor Colin has been cutting down his tree and I think that he might have stopped because there is a nest. So we'll show you the nest very quickly and you can tell us what you think. hear the birds, maybe you can hear them too. I have no idea if that's the mother and the babies or just the babies or what that is but it's loud. So it's 10 a.m. the next morning and they're looking a little different. The dory fish on this side is definitely looking different to me. The Nemo on the other hand kind of looks the same. What do you guys think? Who is the cutest cat in town? Put your paw up. That's it. Oh no, that's a lick. Look at the camera. We like one of those annoying parents with their children. Yet another child picture. That face. So, we have an update that's actually exciting this time. It's not a fail for once. The thing with the bed, with the sewing the elastic on the corner, has actually worked. So I'm going to show you quickly what it is that I did. And no, it's not the neatest. I'm not the neatest sewer in the world. I should have failed sewing, but then give us a mark for it. So, I'm going to pretend like I passed it. So what I basically did was sew this elastic bit onto the two little end bits and it obviously goes over the corner like that and it basically means that the corner of the sheet can't slip off the end so I'm so excited about that for once we're actually having a decent time sleeping on the bed and not ending up on the bare mattress and seeing as we are in Update Avenue I thought I would drive you down to Inflammation House <laughs> see what I did there and let you know what happened to my ankle today it is still terribly swollen but I sort of walked around on it a little bit today at the shops just to get it sort of moving and stretching and it is still sore but the anti-inflammatories are working but the swelling is probably the worst part it's just as you can see the whole ankle around here just looks pretty grody it's got awkward lines and <laughs> it looks so gross but that is what is supposed to be my ankle Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I'm feeling just swell. So there is definite growth going on now with both of the fish compared to this morning. It's now 10 o'clock at night, so we're 12 hours forward. And I must say, I'm seeing a huge difference between the Nemo and Dory from this morning to the Nemo and the Dory that I am seeing right now. There is definite, definite growth. Do you want to sell it to the camera? Oh, oh that's very cute. And another. Another bit of love. We did focus a lot on your brother today. So it's good that you've come to the floor here and are showing us your cute side. Aww. Oh. And your butt. <laughs> you get that for free. Oh, On mom's table. All sorted. I'm sitting here with my thousand and one songs you must hear before you die. I randomly have turned to page 342, which happens to be 1974, and that's my birth year. So... Old! Thanks for that. Old, she says. It's true. But this is the exciting part. It's always anticipation. So when you buy a book like this, probably 70% of the book you won't know the songs. And certainly in South Africa, we weren't really that exposed to country music. Afrikaans people in our country love um, country music, but, but as an English-speaking person, we weren't really exposed to it that much growing up. So, I mean, we obviously knew Dolly Parton and, and Kenny Rogers and people like that. On the, they were played, the music was played on the radio. But someone like this dude, George Jones, 
Um, I've never heard of him in my life. So it's quite fun to to read through what the editors said about it. And basically this guy had a problem with alcohol, which seems to be a common thread running through Nashville back in the day and probably currently. But the guy's he's busy talking about the fact that he wrote an autobiography and very little of it actually had to do with his music. Um, and this guy had, it says here, reached the top 10 of the country singles charts on more than 70 occasions. And that to me is pretty impressive for anybody. If you can reach top 10 70 times, that says something. So anyway, this is the song that I've ch chosen to listen to. It's called The Grand Tour and the guy's name is George Jones. Guys, that's all for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. We are going to post the George Jones song to our Facebook page so you can see him singing the song live and if you're interested, uh, look, country's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you are, it'll be there. There will be a link posted over here and you can check it out there. Tell us what you think about country and about the song. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.